Out in the vast darkness of space, something is heading our way. An object, named 3i Atlas, is currently speeding through our solar system, and on October 29th, it's going to make its closest, most dangerous approach to our Sun. Now, while most astronomers are calling it a comet, a very, very big and rare one, one of the top astrophysicists at Harvard University thinks we could be witnessing the single most profound event in all of human history. Is this alien technology? That is the absolutely provocative question being asked by Dr. Avi Loeb, a former chair of Harvard's entire astronomy department. He's arguing that the data we have doesn't point to a simple rock wandering through space, but to something manufactured, something with purpose. And his suspicion? It doesn't start with some super complex physics, but with the sheer terrifying scale of this visitor. So let's put this into perspective. 3i Atlas is estimated to be about 20 kilometers wide. That is literally twice the size of the asteroid that slammed into the Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs. I want you to just imagine an object larger than Manhattan Island just showing up from the void between the stars. According to Dr. Loeb, an interstellar object of this size appearing in our cosmic backyard isn't just a rare thing, it's a massive statistical anomaly that, honestly, demands a much better explanation. October 29th. That's the date you need to remember. That's when 3i Atlas hits what's called perihelion, its closest point to our sun. As it slingshots around our star, this object is going to be hit with immense gravitational forces and just unimaginable heat. This is our best and maybe our only chance to get a really clear look with our most powerful telescopes. It's going to be a moment of maximum observation and just maybe a moment of revelation. Okay, so to really understand what's at stake here, we're going to break down this incredible story. First, we'll look at the visitor's arrival and why it is definitely not your average comet. Then, we'll connect it to a pattern of other recent mysteries, explore what it all means if we're not alone, see how this could totally shift our cosmic perspective, and finally, we'll come back to that critical October 29th question. So. 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar object we have ever detected passing through our solar system, and its arrival has ignited this fascinating, really high-stakes scientific debate, basically pitting the entire astronomical establishment against one of its most outspoken and brilliant members. On one side, you've got the mainstream astronomical community. They see a rare, but ultimately natural, interstellar comet. To them, yeah, it's an exciting chance to study something from another star system, but it's basically a known quantity just a big icy rock. But on the other side, you've got Dr. Loeb, and he's pointing to a whole series of accumulating anomalies, features that just don't fit the standard model, forcing us to at least consider a far more extraordinary explanation. So why is Dr. Loeb so skeptical about the whole comet theory? Well, his argument isn't some wild hunch. It is built on a foundation of hard data and three key observations that directly challenge what everyone else is saying. And these are the details that are probably keeping him and a lot of others up at night. Okay, first, it's trajectory. Dr. Loeb calls it fine-tuned. See, objects coming from interstellar space should arrive at totally random angles. But 3i Atlas, it's traveling almost perfectly along the same flat disk where all our planets orbit the sun. He actually calculated the odds of this happening by chance at about 1 in 500. It's a highly convenient path that lets it get a good look at Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. Second, a comet's defining feature is its tail, right? As it gets close to the sun, the ice vaporizes, creating this brilliant trail of gas and dust. But images from the Hubble Space Telescope are just startling. 3i Atlas has no tail. It's a ghost. And third, and this might be the strangest detail of all, observers have seen a glow in front of the object, not behind it where a tail should be. As Dr. Loeb puts it, it's got headlights. Comets don't have headlights. But here's the thing. 3i Atlas doesn't exist in a vacuum. Its arrival actually fits into this larger pattern of unexplained events, both out in space and right here on Earth, that have pushed the conversation about extraterrestrial life from the nerdy fringes of science fiction directly into the halls of the U.S. Congress. Remember this? Back in 2017, the first interstellar object, Oumuamua, passed through. Its name literally means scout in Hawaiian. And it was bizarre. I mean, it had this weird, flat, pancake-like shape, and it actually accelerated away from the sun, pushed by some mysterious force, all without having any cometary tail. At the time, everyone just kind of dismissed it as a one-off oddity. Now, it looks like it might have been a precedent. 
And then you've got the situation on Earth. Dr. Loeb recently testified before Congress about this really stark contradiction. He explained that the Pentagon's official office for this stuff, AARO, claims there is, and I quote, no evidence of anything extraterrestrial. But in the very same hearings, a Pentagon consultant named Eric Davis testified under oath that the U.S. government possesses more than a dozen retrieved spacecraft with pilots and has even recovered four different types of alien biological creatures. I mean, these are two completely, fundamentally incompatible stories being told by the same government in the same building. This whole situation just forces the question, what if Dr. Loeb is right? If 3i Atlas is not just a rock, the implications are absolutely staggering. We would have to confront some of the deepest questions and honestly some of the most unsettling theories about our place in the entire universe. It all starts with something called the Fermi Paradox. You see, our galaxy alone has hundreds of billions of stars and potentially billions of Earth-like planets. Statistically, the universe should be absolutely teeming with life, including countless advanced civilizations. So the physicist Enrico Fermi famously asked, where is everybody? Why in all our searching have we only ever found this profound cosmic silence? Well, one possible answer is frankly terrifying. It's called the dark forest hypothesis. It suggests that civilizations are out there, but they stay quiet on purpose. In this model, the universe is like a dark forest, full of hidden hunters. To light a fire, to announce you're there, is to invite your own destruction from something older, faster, and much, much stronger. In that scenario, a visitor might not be a friendly one. So this opens up several pretty mind-bending scenarios. Is 3i Atlas an active probe, a scout like Oumuamua was, sent here to gather data? Is it a piece of space archaeology, a dead relic from a civilization that vanished billions of years ago, basically a tombstone drifting through the cosmos? Or, as Dr. Loeb has speculated, could it be a mothership, a giant craft designed to release smaller probes into our system? Whatever it is, an unidentified object of this size and unknown origin is, by definition, a matter of global security. Beyond the potential threat, though, Dr. Loeb sees an incredible opportunity here. He truly believes that confirming we are not alone in the universe wouldn't be an endpoint for us, but a new beginning. It could be the single most transformative event in the entire history of our species. He has his really profoundly hopeful vision. In a world that's so defined by conflict and division, the confirmation of a cosmic other could be the one thing that finally unites all of us. It would force us to see past our borders, our politics, and all our petty differences, and to finally recognize that we are all, for better or for worse, part of Team Human. At the very heart of his entire argument is a call for a little cosmic humility. For centuries, we believed we are the center of the universe, until science proved us wrong. Dr. Loeb argues we're making that same arrogant mistake today by just assuming we're the most intelligent life out there. We need to be prepared for the idea that our first day in the cosmic kindergarten might reveal that we aren't even the smartest kids on the playground. And that brings us right back to the immediate future. Back to the date that is circled on the calendar of every single scientist and sky watcher following this story. A day that could, quite literally, change everything, or nothing at all. You know, this whole story has unfolded with breathtaking speed. 2017 brought that mysterious scout, Oumuamua. Then on July 1st of this year, the discovery of 3 Aya Atlas, our largest and strangest visitor yet. And now, the final countdown is on to October 29th. As it slingshots around the sun, it's going to face a moment of maximum stress, which gives us a moment of maximum observation and our best shot at getting some real answers. And so, we are left with this monumental question. Is this massive, tailless object with headlights traveling on its nearly impossible path just a series of unbelievable cosmic coincidences? Or are we counting down to some form of first contact? We don't have the answer, but on October 29th, the universe might just give us a clue, and the world will be watching.